If you're looking into learning more about 3D pens for kids, then you're in the right place. We are taking a look at the 3 Doodler Start Plus. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you can see in this video, we are testing out the 3 Doodler Start Plus. You know what though? Enough talk. Let's get right into the review. Who else is excited to crack open this 3 Doodler, a handheld 3D printing pen? It does come with a starter pack of filaments that has 72 strands. As per this video, it retails for $60. Let's crack this open to see what we get. In the box, we have a doodle pad. You actually can do your designs right on here, or you don't have to use that at all, but that's kind of cool that they have it. They have an activity booklet that has 10 different activities for you to print. We have our 72 strands of filament. Of course, right in the middle is our three doodler start plus. This is our 3D printing pen and they spared no expense with our charging cable. This is a full five inches long. I'm not sure why they make such small charging cables. Just give me a decent one for Pete's sakes. Anyway, that is USB-C to USB-A. Not included in this packet, I also have some extra filament because that is one thing you're gonna need for these kind of pens. You need more and more and more filament. This replacement filament retails for right around $27. I think it's worth noting that for this particular 3D pen, you have to use this kind of stranded filament. You cannot use the spools of filament you would use for your 3D printer. They're just not made for this pen in particular. Just make sure you know that you do have to purchase these in order to work with the pen. Let's take a closer look at the pen itself. You can see down here, we have an on off button. You actually slide this into the on position. We have the front button. This is actually gonna activate your filament going forward. And of course, this one is gonna send your filament going backwards. That's for loading and unloading, also just for using the pen in general. You can see that's our filament tip, not a very large opening. On the other side, you're actually gonna see your charging port and also where you slide in your filament strands. If for any reason you have to open up your three doodler, you're actually supposed to push right here and just slide this cap off and that reveals the inside of your 3D printing pen. This is probably great, especially if your filament breaks or you just have to clean it out. With our 3D pen plugged in charging, you can see that it sort of blinks this orangish yellowish color while it's charging and when it's done charging, that should be a solid green. Let's come back when this is ready. The light on our pen is now a solid green, indicating that we are completely charged. Now that we're charged, let's start the process. Turn it on. You're gonna see that this LED turns red. We want that to be green to let us know that we are officially ready. That was really quick. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the forward button to start the motor and we're gonna stick our filament in. We gotta push this all the way in and through. Soon we're gonna see the red, there it is. The red comes all the way out. Let's turn that right off. As you're 3D printing, it should be known, this is warm, not really hot, and right when it comes out, you can move it just a little bit if you wanna form your design, but then it cools, and once it's cooled and hardened, well, it's done, so be quick. If you're ever reusing filament, it's important to cut the end flat. Therefore, it'll feed back into your 3D pen. You should not cut these on an angle. Remember earlier how I said you can use your doodle pad? I'm not gonna use it right away, and I'm probably gonna regret that because I am gonna draw some geometrical shapes, but I'm just gonna try free drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I want to do a 3D cube but you have to do that in stages. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a square right here on the table. Ready? Turn it on. I'm just going slow with the doodle pen. Oops, I accidentally turned it off, but I wanna keep going. All right, I want to come from this way and connect it this side. Voila, we just made a square. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wait for that to cool. There's our first attempt. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the second square right here by connecting it to the first one. I gotta go quick. I'm just gonna hold it right there, let that dry, and then we're gonna turn it. I was really worried about the print head getting really, really hot, but it's not. It's cool to the touch. You can see the hottest I saw was 76 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like next to nothing. Anyway, so it does keep pretty cool, although sometimes it gets warm, but 
nothing like you would think from a 3D printing pen. Check out our shape, it's coming along. Now what we're gonna do is gonna go over and connect it. That noise makes me think that we are out of filament, but let's double check. Well, there's just a little bit of filament left in there, but we're in a sense out. Let's get another one. Just for fun, we're gonna get a different color so you can see the differences. When I turn this thing on, I'm probably gonna get some red that's gonna come out still because there's still red in the print head, but you get the idea. Let's continue on with our shape. I actually made that whole line in just the red before the green came out. I've tried going up from one end to the next, but I couldn't really do that. But let me see what happens if I go down. I'm gonna start this on here and go down. Now can I go up? Oh yeah, that's cool. As long as it connects to that plastic, you can actually make rows. Get a close look at that, that's kind of cool. Here is the contraption that I've been working on, and honestly, I don't even know what it is. One thing I am surprised with is how fast you go through the filament strands. Like this right here is four of those filament strands, and I'm out again. So now I technically have to refill. Each time I'm doing this, I'm making sure to put in a different color so I can keep track. But that's a lot of filament. As my most recent addition dries, I do want to do a quick test. Now these filament strands that I have are six inches long and I want to see how far of a print I can get. So I'm just really going to go back and forth on this table and then we'll measure it. Although not an exact science, I did try moving at the same rate going all the way down to get a consistent bead, but we went right around 35 inches. That's pretty cool. I thought of another use for this 3D printing pen is I can actually use this to bond some of my products that I've actually 3D printed. Like these arms keep popping off. So if I grab some of the filament it in this area right here, turn it off and let's throw that arm in there. Hopefully that now finally bonds because this arm falls out all the time. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the three doodler start plus something you're looking into? Is there another 3d pen you'd recommend? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. For most of this video, I've just been free drawing, so to speak, but I do wanna show you some of the things that come with the kit. Let's look at this doodle pad. First and foremost, I moved the sticker to the top corner because you have to peel off the protective cover. Now our doodle pad is ready for us to use. I'm not gonna show you everything in this book, but for me, what I use the doodle pad for is I can put it right over top of the drawings that they have here in the book. I can load up my three doodler and draw around them. Therefore, I can replicate those designs. Let's show you part of this butterfly. As best as I can do this while filming, let's go. I'm just going down the line. Remember, over top of my doodle pad. Looping it up. Come the, oop, see, I hit that button again. Come the other direction. and then make our final loop. There we have it. I do find it better if you can avoid overlapping, like I just came around and I actually touched the pen to the plastic that was melted and sort of made it difficult. So my thought is if you can avoid that, that's better. Also directions tell us we wanna make this extra strong, go over it again, therefore you make the plastic even thicker. It takes a little bit of practice, but guess what? It is fun for kids of all ages. We're all done for the day, and I wanna see if we can take out the last little bit of filament that's in there. We're gonna use this backward button and see what happens. Oh, see how that just pulls it back out through? So now I know that that filament is not gonna be in the print head. Once you push that button, it reverses for right around 10 seconds until whatever filament was in there comes out. And just like in regular 3D printers, it's important to clean these out at the end just so you don't have to worry about any kind of jamming for future use. In my experience, you get about 45 minutes of use time per charge. That is actually a lot of doodling time. Directions tell us it can take upwards to two and a half hours to recharge your pen once the battery has drained. One of my favorite things with this 3D pen is just how much fun you have. One of the things I love most about toys is when the toy is more kid than toy, and this is absolutely just a creativity within the kid's brain, and I love that.
My son took a crack at one of the models, and these are the glasses that actually are made from the kit. I think he did a really good job. This pen is hard to hold on to and handle, but it is a lot of fun. The Three Doodler is not without its fault. First and foremost, it's hard to get a straight line, as you can see by all these crooked beads, but I think that's just to be expected. One of the things I didn't like the most is the actual button placement. As I'm sitting here trying to focus and get my line going, I keep hitting the start stop button, which actually interrupts your creation. I would have loved it if maybe they were in different places or not so easy to hit when you're focusing. In the end, I do think this is a cool and creative toy for kids. Anyway, that was my full review of the three doodler start plus. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.